preface to a soldier's diary this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by david wales preface by major general sir frederick morris lord robert cecil has said that he is amazed at the false picture of war given by the history books and that he trusts that the historians of the future will give us a better picture of what war really is than have historians of the past i doubt if they will they are concerned with the statesmen who direct and the generals who control rather than with the soldier who fights they have neither time nor space to concern themselves with the things that matter to the men in the ranks we can only get the things that matter the misery suffering and endurance the filth the horror the desolation which are a part and the greater part even of the most triumphant progress in modern war from the men who have experienced them the reason for the publication of this diary is given by the author in his entry for october sixth the only way to stop war is to tell these facts in the school history books and cut out the rot about the gallant charges the victorious returns and the blushing damsels who scatter roses under the conquering hero's feet every soldier knows that the rewriting of the history books would stop war more effectively than the most elaborately covenanted league which tired political legal minds can conceive again in the last entry of all written after the author has been watching the swedish royal troops changing guard at the palace is there no one with the courage to tell them that war is not like this that there will come a day without music and no admiring eyes but when the lice are in their hair and the scabs are on their tongue surely our years of sacrifice were vain if the most highly educated people in europe remain in ignorance of the real nature of war and are open scoffers at the league of nations these are not the words of a conscientious objector nor of a neurasthenic introspective man they are written by a keen healthy-minded sport-loving young englishman who passed through the war at the front did his duty nobly and behaved with great gallantry he describes in vivid clear language just what he saw and he does not cover up the horrors with fine phrases but just sets them down in their place alongside the stories of devotion and sacrifice which make up the high lights in the picture it is remarkable that this story which even to-day makes one shiver is not an account of the grim struggle for the defence of ypres of the grimmer fight through the mud to passchendaele nor of the great retreat when the germans swarmed over our lines in march nineteen eighteen but of the period when the tide had turned definitely in our favour and our army swept forward to final victory it is an account of triumphant war as seen in the front line we are told that the public to-day is weary of war books it may well be weary of war books of a certain kind but i hope it is not weary of learning the truth about the war and every word in this book rings true one of the surest ways to get another war is to forget about the past war f morris thirtieth of november nineteen twenty two hear now a song a song of broken interludes a song of little cunning of a singer nothing worth through the naked words and mean may ye see the truth between as the singer knew and touched it in the ends of all the earth rudyard kipling end of preface